Well, it's the showdown this week in South Australia, and I had the unenviable task of identifying my top 10 South Australian players of the last 25 years. A very, very tough task indeed. I must say some honourable mentions before I get started. Guys like Sean Wren, Brad Ottens, Corey Enright, Andrew Mackay, uh, Mark Bickley, Tony Modra, all missed out. Now, they're pretty good players, so hopefully the top 10 can identify my best of the past 25 years. Ooh, gee, going in hard there, Cruiser, Pavlik somehow did it all himself from 60, kicks to the goal square, bounces through, it's a goal, unbelievable goal, Matthew Pavlic. Crowley running through centre half, oh. forward, Pavlic, flies, oh! the skipper. Number 10, Tony McGuinness, the left foot rover from Glenelg, Footscray and the Adelaide Crows. I remember actually him playing back at Glenelg when I was really young. Um, watching him play and then obviously went over to Footscray, won a best and fairest there as well as becoming an All-Australian and came back to be involved in the inaugural Crows team um, as that rover. I think he captained the Crows for a couple of years as well. So fantastic player on the inside, um, you know, and then very, very penetrating with that left foot. A fantastic player. Playing a 10 half back in this final two. Tom McGuinness. Still inside 50. Tony McGuinness, a snap. A high kick going in towards Modra. Oh, great kick. Number nine, Warren Treadray. Um, a fantastic power forward. Probably one of the guys that started that term as a power forward. Um, I guess he came in to the competition as not a genuine center forward and not a genuine full forward, but sort of played in between. And I had um, the task of playing on him a few times and I was, I was playing down back and he was a tremendous player. Um, led the, the Port Adelaide Footy Club so well in that year when they won the Premiership and for a long time there was, you know, the game's very much power forward, the best power forward. Goes forward again for Port Adelaide. No laughing matter for the Roos, Treadray. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, Treadray! Party time! And thank you very much. Number eight, Simon Goodwin, um, a penetrating left footer who could play both inside mid and, and on the wing and half back. Uh, I remember actually being at the MCG in 1997 when he played in the Crows Premiership. Um, fantastic player and, and someone who you know, was a multiple All-Australian player. Um, had the ability to, to really you know, lead the, the Crows when they were struggling and um, not sort of playing the way they'd like. He, he could stand up and be the one that, that took the reins. And, um, you know, he's a tremendous player and I think even towards the end of his career he got he had a couple of injuries but then got back to all Australian form and um, yeah, a player who was, uh, who was very hard to play against. Some important players for Adelaide combining for the first score. They go forward again, John Cock, he's moved forward to Goodwin. The second goal inside 30 seconds. Yes. Number seven, John the Rat Platten. Um, you know, a figure in the game who's unmistakable, really, you know, the, the hair and the way he went about his game. Um, someone who came across from Central Districts, would have played over 100 SANFL games before he, he made the trip over to Victoria and, and played for Hawthorne. Um, you know, played in a lot of their successful premiership teams and um, both McGarry medalist and Brownlee medalist. So not a bad sort of thing to have on your, uh, your resume and yeah, tr tremendous player inside, you know, Rover and you know, was, had the ability to go forward and kick goals as well. John Platten, a very good player. Cobber, Platten's got him, great tackle by the rat. Zilla, piggyback. Well, on the Platten, a little Rover on the left foot. Now he straightens up on the right, bends it back. Oh, he's kicked the goal. Number six, Ben Hart. Uh, the rebounding and lockdown defender of the Adelaide Crows um, was a player who had tremendous versatility. Was able to play on, you know, Tony Lockhart and Gary Ablett, but also on some smaller players as his career went by. Played over 300 games for the Crows, a multiple Australian winner, Premiership player, and someone who was so durable. You know, I remember growing up in Adelaide and. And the talk always being that this guy just keeps fronting up, you know, he had an amazing ability to play with injuries and, and just had that durability that I know coaches and, and their teammates really like. So Ben Hart, number six. 
Gets back towards the middle. Murphy was exposed though. Hart came across, knocked it down, runs onto it. Storming back towards goal is Henschel. High ball, pits Henschel against Morris. Morris, did he touch it? I'm not sure he did. Hart has kicked the goal. All right, to the top five. Number five, Gavin Wanganeen. Um, the versatile sort of back pocket, forward pocket, on ball, every now and then player who had just tremendous skill and ability. Um, someone who people would walk in and, and love to watch. Um, you know, he started out at Port Adelaide and in the Yes NFL, played that season or so there, went across to Essendon, was a part of the Baby Bombers 93 Premiership team on the Brownlow, um, and then went back to Adelaide and, and captain Port Adelaide um, and was certainly a, a large part of their success in the early 2000s. Um, you know, a great ability. I remember in the 2004 grand final to go forward and, and sneak a couple of goals really when the game was up for, for grabs. Um, a tremendous, tremendous part. Murphy, ball, boundary line, Wanganeen, put Adelaide away. Wanganeen, couple of bounces, great support there as well. Kick inboard, finds James. They've got players on here if they can control the ball. Schofield, back to James. He'll run towards goal. Didn't have to stop. Gives the handball off to Wanganeen, who's run all the way from the back pocket. Lines up the goals! Team lifting goal from Gavin Wanganeen. Number four, Craig Bradley. Someone who <laughs> just kept playing and playing and playing. Um, played 99 games for Port Adelaide in the SANFL. Um, played in the Premiership there and then went on to play th over 350, I think even over 375 games at Carlton. Um, you know, state games, games for Australia. He, he was just someone who kept fronting up and playing well. And um, it almost seemed like he, he got better as, as the years went by. He was another one of those players in the late 80s that played a huge amount of footy in the SNFL and then ro rolled into the AFL and just you know, hit the ground running. Tremendous player, led the cap, um, was captain of, of Carlton as well and someone who I greatly admire. McKay, back to Bradley. What a goal this would be. Banana kick by Bradley. All right, so to the top three, and I must say before I start, this could have gone either way because I believe these three could have arguably been one, two or three respectively. So number three, Mark Rusciuto. Um, you know, the stats don't really lie about how good this guy was. Over 300 games, eight-time All-Australian, Premiership player, best and fairest winner, Brownlow medalist. Um, he had it all. Ability to... I remember actually he started on the wing um, as a real young player in the, in the AFL with the Crows and then became that inside powerful midfield player with the ability to go forward and, and play full forward, genuine full forward and kick goals. Um, you know, that long penetrating kick and that really aggressive nature around the footy, he's a pretty good player. For distance, down towards centre half forward, Perry in front of Djakovic, falls in front, Rashudo. they need a goal, Rashudo still going, outside the 50. Swings it back towards full forward. Glass, well done by Burton. No free kick. I think it carried the pair it did. Number two, Darren Jarman. Um, I think it sums it up, the ability for him to go to the 97 and 98 grand final and kick six goals in each and essentially you know, win those two grand finals with the help of Andrew McLeod and some of the other players. But... You know, it's not a bad effort, is it? Two grand finals and you kick six goals in each and really take the game away from the opposition in those sort of second halves when the Crows really came from behind. And um, I think what people do forget is how skillful and beautifully balanced he was at moving the ball through the midfield. You know, played a huge amount of games for North Adelaide in the SNFL, went across to Hawthorne, played in the Premiership there and came back and um, you know, finished his career at the Crows. Unbelievably skilled, both side of the body, um, similar to Rashudo, able to play inside mid and a genuine full forward and just someone who I remember watching and aspiring to, just his unbelievable skill and his ability to, to use the ball. In the woods, Jarman again, got the one hand to it. This time it wasn't enough, normally it would have been, but it's a slippery ball. Jarman still going, trying to sucker it down. He's still going, Jarman. Now he's at the bottom. No! Is that 
So my number one, Stephen Kernahan, played you know over 130 games at Glenelg, leading goal kicker there for a few seasons, and then came over to Carlton into the AFL and was captain almost immediately. Um, he was the longest, is the longest serving captain at Carlton and in the AFL, I believe. Um, you know, led the goal kicking there for a long time. Kicked multiple goals in finals, kicked multiple goals in state of origin games. Um, you know, just someone who I think really was the pinnacle of centre half forwards and full forwards um, in that late 80s, early 90s. Um, someone who I remember um, I met sort of in my late uh, in my late teens and thought it was the best thing since sliced bread to shake the hand of Stephen Kernahan. Um, you know, had the opportunity to, to um, sort of meet him a few more times since then and I'm such a big figure in the game and someone who um, is revered by many South Australians and I think is thoroughly deserved in the number one position. Having a bit to say too, Well, I? There's Clappe meantime, kicking inside the 50. Kernahan keeps the ball in front. Still he goes. Some indecision. It served them well from 45 metres out. Kernahan. Goal. 